What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video gonna learn how to create and how to use this element from WP Baker with call it image carousel, okay? So if you apply this element to your page, you can simply click into these arrows or into these dots to navigate from image. And if I click into this image right here, I can still navigate it from. So let's learn how to create this in a simple, fast and effective method. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much that helps us because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many, many more topics in our tools, internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do, it's go navigate to your WordPress dashboard, okay? So from here, make sure that you have the WP Bakery WordPress plugin active on your site. After this, you can go to Pages or Posts or Custom Post Types, Add New or Edit some previously made post, okay? Let me create a new one. Remember that you must click into a WP Bakery page builder in order to open up their editor. You can edit into the front end or into the back end. We're gonna edit this into the back end to make it easier to see. However, you can edit directly on the front end in order to see the final result immediately and no need to preview the page, update the page, okay? So let's start with the element itself. I like to start my, the, my pages clicking into this plus button next to the plugin icon. And from here, you can find the element into the content tab right here, the image carousel, okay? Click on it. We can apply our widget title the image, the size, and the on-click action, the slider orientation, speed, slider per view, autoplay, hide, and other options. We're gonna explore every single one. So let's just start applying some images to be our carousel. So remember that images most have the same size, okay? So you must upload the image with all the same size. This is a recommendation, okay, for a better usage. So you're gonna open up your gallery and you, all you have to do is click into the previously uploaded images. Remember, if you try to upload two big images with two MBs of size or try to select a hundred of images to the carousel, so it may have problems to load, okay? Because remember that mobiles, for example, have some limitations of loading size. So try to upload optimized images from the proper size, so you have no need to use 2000 pixels images to a page that you have only, <laughs> for example, 500 pixels, okay? So, this image is right here, I have this four. Click on add images. Here is my four images. Here into the custom size, I'm gonna enter with the size, with the text full. In order to have the full size of, of these images, here is my element. I would like to apply this into a row with two columns. So I'm gonna click right here and change the columns layout. Then into this other half of the column, I would like to apply some text block, for example. Maybe this one right here and another one to occupy the size, just like this. So let's preview the page and reveal the results we got. So here are the results we got, okay? Nice, right? So how to change this? Let's go once again to the image carousel. First of all, on click action, none. You can open custom links. In the case that we want to link this carousel for some project, some product, some service, some contact form, okay? Horizontal or vertical, this is nice for orientation. The slider speed, we can change the slider speed, for example, for three seconds. Slider per view one. Set autoplay in order to automatically change the sliders. We can hide the pagination control. We can hide the next and previous button. Partial view. slider loop we can set as yes and let's save the change and review the results we got
Now, after some seconds, our sliders change and always going to be changing, okay? And if I click on it, I still can see the other sliders, okay? Into a bigger view, the light box, okay? Simple, right? And of course, you can combine this with other layouts. You can move these elements by dragging and dropping the content. It's very simple. Of course, in the case that you want, you can edit inch into the front end if you prefer. Let me show you. Let me just update the page. Let me go to the front end editor so we can load it and show for you. So as you can see, we can edit the page as it gonna looks like, okay? For example, we're eating the raw to apply some space to the top. Now it looks better, right? So it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that I have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor, WP Bakery, Gutenberg or the WordPress block editor. And it's absolutely free. Moreover, in the case that are in needs of a compatible team to use any plugins you like, any page builder you like and have amazing customization options for free, go to our WP dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo WordPress team. Click on install and activate it. You're going to be amazed about how many features this team offers for free. Moreover, in the case that you want to promote your site, to receive guest posts, to publish guest posts, to get some collaboration ideas, go to growth with 3 wsnet submit your site. It's completely free, okay? And it is. And as a final note, in the case that you want your site up and running faster with our full support, Unlock access to our entire templates library of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click and make your site ready for the beginning. Go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and go premium. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.